Hello, hello. Holy oh, fuck. There it goes, there it goes. What a day, right, hang on. Sorry, I'm in the kitchen, so I'm just setting it up. Fuck's sake, it's resting on me kettle. There. Right. I'm multitasking because I've got to be somewhere at three o'clock. And I've got burgers to make. So, this isn't about cooking. It's about being strong. I was talking to, um, I think it was Mark actually, in, in the park the other week. Hello. I was talking to, yeah, Mark, one of the guys who comes along, I was talking to the park the other week and he was, um, you know, we were just talking about being strong and stuff. Sorry, I've got stuff to put in. Pork burgers, these. Bloody good. Um, yeah, we were talking about being strong and stuff and I would like, there was, there's a guy who I know, I don't know him very well, but I've seen him at a few certifications of this guy called Phil, Phil McDougall. Munchford Lanty, exactly. And he, um, he produced this, this manual for a move, uh, a strength move that is very technical, involves lots and lots of different stuff and he's got lots of mobility and stuff like that. So I bought this manual that he produced and he, um, and this move that, that, that it is, is something that like the old time strongmen used to do, like a hundred years ago. Okay. So I was talking to this guy, Mark, and just we're talking about the mobility side of it and stuff, because, you know, he, everyone gets, um, gets a decent amount of, oh, for fuck's sake. My hands are covered in pork as well. Hang on. This is what happens, you see. Let's put it there. What's going on there then? There, I'm back. That's better. My hands were covered in pork and my phone fell over. That's no good, is it? You can't, you can't be doing that. Anyway. Yeah, we were talking about sort of the, this move that guys used to do 100 years ago and that, and, this, and then and the mobility that goes with it, which everyone needs and all that. And this guy Mark, he said, um, he said, yeah, it's funny that you'd think kind of everyone would be fitter and stronger now with all of all of the stuff that's available and all the money that gets spent in the health and fitness industry and all that sort of stuff. And I kind of said, yeah, you'd expect that, wouldn't you? However, it doesn't happen. People aren't as fit and strong as they used to be a hundred years ago. Okay, people do live longer, but that's basically down to medical science, isn't it? It's not to do with us all being healthier, I don't think. I mean, that's just my opinion. I also think that's probably true as well. You know, people live longer because people can make you live longer. And as far as I'm concerned, if I live longer, I want to be, I want to be able to use my body and not just be sitting around doing bugger all. Anyway, anyway, I made this quick because I've got as long as it takes me to make these burgers. Multitasking, see? And this is going to make enough for two days as well. So when you see I haven't got time to do stuff and all of that, I'm doing this and this at the same time. And I'm going to make some burgers for my dinner tomorrow or Sunday. And I'm making some for tonight and all of that. And it'll take me like five minutes. Anyway. So. It's basically just a quick thing to say. You know, there's all these people with gym memberships and all that sort of stuff who... You know, kind of like think, right, the best thing to do is join a big gym where loads of people go who've got loads of members because they'll know what they're doing because they've got all this equipment and all that. And it doesn't matter how much equipment there is. You know, a hundred years ago, there was a guy, there was, there was some, some of the old time strongmen. I think it was a guy, his name was Arthur Saxon. Look at him up. And this, and he used to be able to put, I think it was somewhere like 165 kilos above his head with one arm. Now, do you need to be able to do that? No, you don't, right? But, however, he could, he could do that a hundred years ago. And this was without, you know, he didn't have access to all the gym equipment that there is now. He just used, you know, he, he had some, like, some kettlebells and some barbells and stuff like that. And that was pretty much it. And he's going body weight and that's all you need. So, now, strong guys, strong guys who do similar stuff to what he was doing, 
can put about 100 kilos above the head. I don't know of anyone that can put 165 kilos above the head with one arm. So how come he could do it 100 years ago and people can't now? Right? And it's basically, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's because people sit down all day and people aren't interested in being strong. And it's not because they're not interested, it's just basically because they haven't got time to, or they think they haven't got time to do it. You think you haven't got time. When actually, you've just got to make some time. And you might think that's not, not very easily done, but, you know, it depends, depends where your priorities lie. Okay, if you've got family and kids and all that sort of stuff, that's great. You need to look after them, but you also need to look after yourself. If you don't look after yourself, you're not going to be there to look after them, are you? So that's one thing. And also, like I was saying, there's all these people with gym memberships go down gyms with all amazing amounts of equipment, and then you go and buy all the gear from the sports shop as well, so you look the part. But, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, it doesn't really make any difference. It doesn't really make any difference, and the likelihood is you're just going to become a statistic in the gym where there's hundreds and hundreds of people who also don't know what they're doing. So you're just going to become a statistic, blend into the background, try and copy what other people are doing, and end up getting zero results like everyone else is be like everyone else will be doing, and then giving up. And it's cost you twelve months of whatever it is, fifty quid a month membership or whatever. Or even cheaper, some gyms do like 20 quid a month, but then you get zero support and they've got no staff and all that sort of stuff, which is just ridiculous. But anyway, anyway, if you know what you're doing, it's not. You're just renting their equipment. Nobody shows you how to use it, you just turn up and uh, say, there you go, have a go. So, you need to know what you're doing. Look at that, all done. You need to know what you're doing. You also... Don't need a stupid amount of equipment. The guys who I get down at BKS get strong with only, well, only with kettlebells. Kettlebells, body weight, and we use mace bells as well, but that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Simple as that. So, there's a link below here, which shows you exactly how I started. I'm going to put the link in. Download the program. It's, it's exactly where I started, it's exactly where all the guys started, everyone who comes along to BKS, who's all got stronger, fitter and healthier, with minimal equipment, all started in exactly the same place as me, and as probably where you are now. So, there you go, my burgers are made, Russ is on, he helped me out with these, I said like, what am I going to do, he just said, like everything else, just keep them simple, keep them simple. Super simple, what is it? Pork, garlic, sage from my garden, spring onions, apple, and that's it. These are going to be tasty. Tasty! Right! I'm off, I've got places to be. So, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you Monday. Don't forget to download the programme.